I am in the duck pond at the off-grid homestead in North Carolina. It is one of a series of collection areas for the fertigation system of the southern food forest. We completed the northern food forest uh, about a month ago and you can see the buckwheat is starting to dry out. It will start to fall down to the ground and germinate that area and help the fruit trees and berry, berry bushes that we have in there have helped that grow. So this fertigation system for the southern food forest is fed by the overflow of the spring water system. Uh, even, well, the potable water system, which includes the spring water that is being collected on the other side of the property, actually up in the valley. So from the spring, it goes down into a tank and from there it falls down the mountain, hits a uh, uh, high lifter pump, which pushes it up around the mountain to two 3,000 gallon tanks that are behind the house. And since the spring is constant, that those tanks will fill up and when they do the overflow comes down back down the mountain and through that first food forest underground right to here. So this smaller pipe is the overflow from those tanks and the larger pipe here is from the floor drain in the barn. So when this thing fills up it's probably about four or five feet deep maybe and when it fills up it will overflow over the embankment here and feed and flow down into the southern uh, into the food forest area to uh, irrigate these crops so it's called a duck pond because when the owners decide they're ready they'll get some ducks in here and their poo will add nutrients to the water. That'll all mix in. And when that overflow occurs, it goes down not just then irrigation, but also the uh, nutrients. So we have the, from the duck pond, we'll also have some overflow that leaves through this pipe, the low grade, over to three different swales on the other sides, other areas of the food forest. And so here are the incoming and outgoing pipes. One of the outgoing pipe comes down to this second of three swales. There's swale number two. And down here is swale number three. You get the idea, but it also has a pipe and it's just a feeder pipe here because when it over, when all this overflows, it's just gonna go over that embankment there and feed and uh, fertilize and irrigate whatever's down, whatever the, whatever crops they have down in that area. There's the southern food forest and that is the fertigation system in this area. And so it doesn't really matter whether the owners put the ducks in there or not. It's at least a an irrigation system. But with the ducks in there and the, the nutrients will uh, just make that the these crops just uh, live better and produce better so uh, it's all part of the self-reliance self-sustaining farm approach farming approach of uh, permaculture and uh, frankly it's a beautiful thing and i know these owners are real excited to get get going start living off the land <laughs>